Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Um, so, Wolf Thunder just released a dev blog about a new nation being added to the game, Israel. I'm going to read through what the dev blog said, and then I'm going to give my short opinion on what I think about it. We are happy to inform you that in one of the future Wolf Thunder updates, a new playable nation will appear, Israel. Despite its youth, the Israel Armed Forces are rightfully considered one of the most combat-ready armies in the world, and Israel's mil military forces are an interesting alloy of foreign vehicles with advanced domestic machines. In the upcoming War Thunder update, Groundbreaking, two premium aircraft from the early access packs will be added to the Israel Aviation lineup. The owners of the packs will be the first to get access to the closed beta testing of the Aviation Tech Tree and the new playable nation that will begin in the next major update after the upcoming update groundbreaking. Prior to Israeli Aviation CBT, early access pack owners will be able to participate in aircraft random battles and prepare their crews. One of the most successful modifications of the legendary Spitfire in the livery of the personal aircraft of Isa Wiseman, the RAF veteran pilot who later became the commander of the Israeli Air Force and subsequently became the president of the nation. In addition to the perfect maneuverability and excellent speed at low and medium altitudes, this aircraft carries 8cm FLZ racket Allurican rockets unique to the game with a shaped charge warhead and armor penetration up to 300mm. A late Israeli modification of one of the best strike aircraft in the game, the aircraft features a new armament of 2x30mm Defa guns a parachute and an elongated tail. The premium Skyhawk carries a large payload of various suspended weapons. Bombs up to 2,000 pounds, Zuni and Mighty Mouse rockets, gun pods and the AGM-62 Walleye guided bombs. A wonderful strike aircraft and the best choice to accelerate the research of high-ranking Israeli aviation. Okay, I'm just going to let the cube play in the background here while I give you my opinion on the Israeli aviation tree being added. Um, in my opinion, I don't think it was the best choice um, of a nation they could have added. It's, it's obviously Australia. But um, no, jokes aside, um, I think this what they're going to do with this is just going to be mostly like what they did with the Chinese tree. It's going to be a lot of copy-paste vehicles from other nations. If they don't do that, it could be really cool. But if they choose to copy and paste vehicles from other nations and have next to nothing that's actually made by Israel, it um it's not gonna be a very good tree. Well it would be a, it will be a very good tree. It just won't be a very unique tree. Um it's definitely definitely not the best choice of tree they could have gone with here. There's um many other options. I'm not gonna get into the options that I think they should add. That may be a video in the future sometime, but uh yeah, thank you for watching. Um, please like and subscribe. Let me know what you think of the Israeli tree down in the comments below. And I will see you in the next one.